everybody. Hello everybody, this is Sumin again and I have a really tiny microphone. <laughs> it's so cute, isn't it? When I saw this online, I just had to get it. And do you know what's more fun with this microphone? It has a little <laughs> It has a little windshield too. I think this is one of the best purchases that I ever had in this year. So I am going back to the UK tomorrow. And as much as I respect all the rules and protocol here in Korea related to COVID-19, I also want to respect people there. I know it's a lot messier there. And I know I'm not a citizen of United Kingdom, but I'm still a resident there. So before going back to my place, I just want to make sure that I'm safe to meet everybody else. Plus, me and James are living with April and John and Bonnie, the dog, in one household. So yeah, it's just best for me to get tested before I'm meeting them. And there are a couple more reasons why I want to get tested. Um, this is actually a really sad story because it's racism. Um, so basically, this time when I get back to the UK, I have to go to the post office to pick up my new resident card. However, I've heard from several people that some people working at a post office are not aware of the fact that people from South Korea don't have to do the two weeks of self-quarantine and they just immediately assume that I'm from China or any other countries and they would immediately tell you that you shouldn't be out here picking up the resident card you should do self-quarantine I've also heard that some of them really try to explain they don't have to do self-quarantine that's the rule they are just not giving the resident card to them which is really sad I'm not saying all the post officers in the UK are doing this but some of them don't really know maybe it's the system is the problem but still so yeah people recommend me to have this certificate of coronavirus test as negative then you can just easily explain uh, and they wouldn't you know freak out if they see me and we are living in a very sensitive time if a person at a post office is yelling at you saying like you shouldn't be out there then people behind you are gonna hear that and they are gonna give you the look. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about the details, but anyways, you know how racism is. So I just want to make sure that I don't have a coronavirus. Um, yeah, so that's that. Lastly, we're living in West Yorkshire, which is tier three but Heathrow Airport is tier two and James is coming to pick me up with his own car however James can't technically stay in Heathrow or anywhere near Heathrow Airport overnight because he's coming from more dangerous area so we have to go back home in one trip and it's quite a long journey it's almost like you driving down to Busan from Seoul and pick you up and going back to Seoul in one trip. But the thing is, police might stop you at any time during that long journey because no travels in between different tiers are allowed at the moment other than it's an essential trip. And one of the essential trips that are allowed is moving so it's an essential because i'm literally moving to the uk if a police officer stop us asking the reason why we're traveling then i can just easily show the certificate of the medical report and show my passport and explain you know this is an essential trip so yeah the chances are really really low like the chance of being stopped by a police officer during the long journey in a motorway is pretty low and also meeting a racist at a post office in your area it's pretty low as well so you don't have to get tested you don't have to get that certificate just to prove that you're you don't have a coronavirus in the uk but Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I just want to prepare everything perfectly 
so yeah so I got this certificate and I got tested negative you can yeah it explains everything it has the dates on it and yeah I'm I'm very safe to go I was a little bit surprised when I heard the price of COVID tested here in Korea. I knew I had to pay for it because I'm getting tested for my own good reasons. I think the Korean government is only focused on the coronavirus patients or the people who would potentially have the virus because if you want to get tested without having any symptoms or without any contacts with the coronavirus patient, then you have to pay around a hundred quid it depends on the hospital that you're going but the one that i went costs me a hundred quid i think i think i'm ready to fly except i haven't packed anything yet okay i'm gonna pack now <laughs>
난 보고 싶다고 울면 안 된다. 지금 뭔가 눈시울이 붉어졌는데 또 울지 마라. <웃음>